Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Sunday, December 8th, 2019. Got a free pick in the NFL coming up in just one moment. First quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, hey, be sure to check it out. Give it a free trial run. $60 free account. That's what's coming to you, and all you got to do is click on the link below the video. It'll come with the DocSports guarantee, and you'll be able to get any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com with that package. Again, a free $60 account. Great way to give DocSports.com a trial run. It all starts by clicking on the link below the video. If you took advantage yesterday, man, we had a great day. Thanks for those who jumped on board. And 6-1 uh, and one in football, basketball, and the NHL combined. We swept this week's college football 3-0 and oh, with our top play being that Oregon Ducks winner over the Utah Utes. And then we went 2-0 and oh. on Saturday. We won with LSU and we won with the Baylor Bears. So a nice 3 and a weekend in college football and that extends our football run college football NFL combined over the last seven weeks now to 32 and 18 that's 64 percent against the spread up over four thousand dollars for those wagering just one hundred dollars per unit and we're not done yet we got four more plays going on Sunday's card in the NFL including a seven unit side including a five unit play you don't want to miss out all four plays available right now DocSports.com, 64% the last seven weeks. Big weekend, big Saturday already in the bank. Also with Friday Night Football, also cashing there with Oregon. So don't miss out. You can grab the football plays, the four NFL plays, including the seven and the five unit plays right now as we speak. But that wasn't all. Another winner in the NBA with the Dallas Mavericks. They only won by about 46. Uh, we also had a nice college basketball day. Cashed a two in one day, made a nice profit, and that was basically due to that seven unit winner on Illinois, plus the double digits over Maryland. Illinois almost won the game outright, probably should have. Lost the game by one, easily covered for us. It was about a 10 point cover. And uh, that runs our run to about 60% now in college basketball over the past couple of weeks. Don't miss out on Sunday because I've got a five unit play in Sunday's college baskets. You'll be able to get that at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday's card. Football available right now. The four NFL plays, including the seven unit, uh, the five unit and college baskets available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time on Sunday. I've got uh, NBA. I've got NHL. We won again yesterday in the NHL, 60% on the season. The NBA, the NHL available 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time. Let's have a big Sunday and make it what's been a big weekend already. Not only six and one with those premium football, NBA, college basketball plays, and the NHL 7-1 and one if you include our free pick winner here yesterday with Clemson and then we turned a small profit but a profit nonetheless in UFC action yesterday we cashed the top play lost the smaller play a small underdog uh, but again a, a, a nice profit for us in the UFC we've now gotten 75% the last couple of cards in UFC action all right let's get to the information for Sunday as you know by now uh, every Sunday around 12 30 p.m. Eastern 9 30 a.m. Pacific uh, we give the betting report from Vegas in the NFL, which includes you know, the biggest bet game ticket wise, the biggest bet game money wise, where the sharps are, where the squares are, all that kind of good stuff. So we'll be doing that again. Tune into a local ESPN station nearest you. It's on ESPN National every Sunday throughout the football season. And I uh, wanted to give you, though, a heads up on as we go into Sunday morning uh, where the betting is. And right now, when you look at the most lopsided bet game ticket wise by percentage, it is the Baltimore Ravens. They've drawn 70% of the tickets. They're laying about six at the Buffalo Bills. Again, Baltimore, heaviest bet team percentage-wise as far as the spread is concerned. Uh, the heaviest bet game money-wise, the most lopsided percentage taken thus far by the books that have reported to me. How about the Atlanta Falcons? We're about a three and a half point favorite over Carolina. Atlanta has received over 80% of the money in that game. And your top Joes versus pros late Saturday night, heading into Sunday's card, Indianapolis and Tampa Bay. You've got Indy getting over half the tickets thus far, but Tampa Bay getting about 60% of the money. And uh, that is our one Joes versus pros game that kind of stands out right now with the Joes on Indy and the pros on Tampa Bay. And again, we'll give the full rundown and the update on ESPN on Sunday around 12.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll also maybe be able to talk about those college football championship matchups. They'll be announced about 15, 20 minutes before I go on the air. And uh, hopefully by then we'll have a couple of lines for you to talk about on the ESPN report. So 
Anyway, tune in about 12.30 Eastern, give or take a couple of minutes, and I'll be on with Kevin Winter. All right, let's get to the free pick for Sunday. And I'm going to back the Oakland Raiders here over the Tennessee Titans. I think Oakland gets the job done. Tennessee, listen, getting a lot of credit, as they should. Same with Ryan Tannehill since he took over for quarterback for Marcus Mariota. Tannehill doing a great job of game managing this offense, and we get all that. But, <clears throat> excuse me, check out the schedule lately for the Tennessee Titans the teams they played the last couple of weeks, the kind of wins they've had to put together. They've got a divisional clash next week, and now they get this game that falls in the middle of all that on the road against the Oakland Raiders. And we do like the Raiders to get the win here. Tennessee last week, man, they came from behind against Indy, but it was thanks to some Indy miscues. It was a banged up Indianapolis football team. We saw for the first time, basically, uh, Jacoby Brissett making a costly mistake for the Indianapolis Colts. And the game was tied at 17. Vinatieri's lining up for a field goal, and you saw what happened. Tennessee he blocks it, returns it for a touchdown, and basically it's game over. So, again, Tennessee's had some fortune go their way. They're playing much better football with Tanny Hill at quarterback, uh, but just in a tough spot here. We like the Oakland Raiders plus the points on Sunday. Our free pick again on the Oakland Raiders. Don't forget again, right now, DocSports.com, you can get the rest of my football card, four plays in Sunday's NFL, including the seven unit, including the five unit. They're available right now as we speak. Five unit play going in college baskets on Sunday. That'll be available 11.30 a.m. Eastern. Uh, pro, uh, pro basketball and NHL will be available at 1 p.m. Eastern as always. That's going to do it for me for Sunday's report. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports. Let's put Sunday in the win column right back here Monday, about 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.